So I want you to close your eyes and think about an apple. What do you see? What color is it? How is it shaped? What does it taste like? Is it really sweet or juicy or sour? If you ask the people who make commercials, they will probably say an apple is red, more of a diamond shape than a circle, medium juicy, and definitely sweet. They are describing a very particular kind of apple that you have seen on every grocery store aisle and on a lot of teachers' desks. They are talking about the Red Delicious. Although there are literally thousands of kinds of apples, like these guys, the Red Delicious is the most popular, for better or for worse. Could you believe that the Red Delicious has only been around for about 150 years? And it has definitely changed since it was first grown on a little farm in Peru, Iowa. In fact, when the farmer named Jesse Hyatt saw the young seedling tree growing, he didn't want it. He thought it was just a weed. So every year he would cut it down to a stump. But every single spring, the rootstock would send up sh new shoots and he'd cut it down again. And again, but he kept coming back. Now, Farmer Hyatt was a Quaker, and one thing he thought to himself was, well, maybe there's a reason behind this tree. He decided to stop fighting the stubborn tree and just let it grow. Sometime between the autumn of 1872 and 1880, the tree bore its first fruit. Farmer Hyatt described it as not the red apple we all know now, but instead having um, vermilion stripes over a creamy base of surpassing sweetness. In other words, it was kind of like a peppermint striped peach. It took Farmer Hyatt 22 years to share his apples with anyone but his family and friends. Then he decided in 1892, he would enter his apple into the Stark Fruit Fair. After all, it was the best apple he had ever tasted. The Stark brothers were looking for a new apple to replace the then popular Ben Davis apple. Farmer Hyatt thought his apple, which he called Hawkeye, would surely win. They say when Mr. C.M. Stark, the judge of the fair and the owner of the Starks brothers, nursery bit into Farmer Hyatt's apple, he immediately proclaimed, my, that's delicious, and that's the name for it. Unfortunately for Mr. Stark and everyone else, Farmer Hyatt's entry tag had been lost, and no one knew to whom the apple belonged. When Farmer Hyatt didn't win the contest that year, he didn't give up. He sent in another apple the next year. Obviously, Mr. Stark had missed him because he not only gave Farmer Hyatt the first prize, but also offered to buy the sole rights to the apple and renamed it the Stark Delicious. Farmer Hyatt got a few thousand dollars for his apples, and the Stark brothers put a big fence around the tree so no one else would steal the cuttings. It eventually became the Red Delicious when the Stark Brothers Nursery bought the rights to a Clay County, West Virginia apple in 1914, which they called the Golden Delicious. Now, nobody wants to get those two mixed up, do they? So, granted, there are at least five seeds in every single apple. That means there is that many chances for a tree. And the Red Delicious might be good enough, but let me invite you to think about all the combinations of different apple trees there could be. And also invite you to try one of the Red Delicious's misfit cousins anytime soon. And always remember that if you never give up and you keep believing in what you know is good, 
Well, you're definitely bound to win first place someday.